So now let's learn a blues in the key of A, where we play both the shuffle rhythm pattern as well as chords. I'm going to show you three different ways of playing chords over this 12 bar blues. We're in the key of A and the first thing I'm going to show you is the basic shuffle pattern and I'll play it through once and then I'll show you in more detail. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> starts over. The shuffle pattern that I'm playing, it sounds like this. And the way you play this is you have your index finger on the fifth fret on the E string, the ring finger on the A string on the seventh fret, and you add a little bit of uh, your palm on top of the strings just in front of the bridge, so you mute the strings a little bit, so it, so it doesn't ring like... because that's a little bit too much. So uh, we start by two down strokes, and then we add the pinky on the ninth fret on the A string. Another two down strokes there. And then it repeats the same thing. That's the pattern right there. We just add this shuffle feel to it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You can emphasize the downbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three by hitting a little harder with your pick on those. Okay, so we do that for four bars before we go to the uh, four chord, which is D. So if we count each bar, this is what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five. Now on bar five, we'll go to the four chord, which is D. So it's the exact same grip as before. We're just switching strings now and uh, use the A string and the D string instead. The fingers are doing the exact same thing. And remember that you can use your index finger to slightly touch the E string above, then you don't have to worry about it ringing. Just move it so that it just barely touches the, the E string, which will mute it, so you have a cleaner sound. So we play that for two bars. Back to A again for another two bars. And then we go to the five chord, which is E, and that's almost the same thing as the, the D pattern we have. We just move the, whole, the same thing up the whole step, two frets this way. So now the index finger is on, on the 7th fret, the ring finger is on the 9th fret, and the pinky will go up to the 11th fret. And we play that for one bar. Then we go to the 4 chord, D, and play for one bar. And then we go back to the 1 chord, A, and play... So that's slightly more than one bar on the A. We can count this way. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That's a very typical turnaround. So we are on bar 11. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So the chord here, F7, actually we're gonna do an F9 comes on the two and the E9 comes on the two and. Two and three and four. So the way you play an 
F9 is like this. I'm barring with my ring finger on the bottom three strings on the eighth fret. Add my index finger on the D string on the seventh fret. And my middle finger on the eighth fret on the A string. And then one step this way, we have one half step, it's called, one fret. We have the E9. Okay. You can also play in a nine chord just like this. Meaning that you skip the bottom string. But if you add it, it, it creates more of a typical blues sounding chord for guitar players. And it's nice with that higher, um, that low, that high E string at the end. Okay, so we have then, if we play together, I'm gonna count you in and we'll play this whole progression together using the shuffle pattern. Okay, one and two and three and four and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and and then starts over. Okay.